guys welcome back to another video in this tutorial i will be showing you the principal mode setup for pbr materials first of all i will delete the default objects in the scene then i am going to add a plane go to edit mode by pressing tab and then scale up the plane by four times then subdivide it three times and unwrap it now i am going to bring this area and convert it into shader editor Let me go to render mode and adjust this point light. Now I have downloaded this texture free from the 3 dtextures.me link in the description. Now there are basically three maps important for PBR texture, albedo or color map, roughness map and normal map. Now press on the plus icon which will add a principal node setup. Press Shift A in the shader editor, search image texture and select that node. Now press open and select the albedo or color map. to plug this node into the base color in principal node. This will give you a plain colored texture which is flat. Now press shift D to duplicate the image node and press open to select the normal map. Then add a normal map node. node with normal map node and normal map node to here in the principal node. You can see that how it has got some bumps and 3D look. Then change the color space from sRGB to non-color. more bumps and more details then you can simply increase the normal map value you can see how it is embossed now again duplicate the image node and add roughness map to it Plug this roughness map into roughness in principal node. You can see this shiny look now. But if you don't convert the color space from sRGB to non-color, you will get unwanted shiny places like this. So I will use these three maps. Unwrapping that we have done in the beginning helps in adjusting the area of texture. Let me show you in the UV editor. <music> A 
as you can see here the unwrapped faces now if i select this and scale them twice the area of the texture in plane increases if you have a seamless texture it will work properly Now if you add a color ramp between roughness and roughness mode, then by playing with it, you can get very cool effects. Like here by sliding this, I got this wet shiny effect which looks like tiles are wet. very simple but the effects are really very cool. If you don't wanna do all these things, you can simply go to edit, preferences, add-on and enable this not Wrangler add-on in it. Now select the principal node and press Ctrl plus Shift plus T. Then select all the maps and press this. You will see that all the nodes will automatically get connected and give you the final texture. Hope you guys like this video. If you find this video helpful, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.